Vitamin B12 Deficiency and Dementia. Part 1. Vitamin B12 is a water-soluble vitamin, essential for adequate functioning of the brain and nervous system, and critical for producing red blood cells. A B12 deficiency can lead to neurological symptoms, including dementia. Vitamin B12 is primarily found in animal-based foods such as meat, fish, poultry, and dairy products. The human body cannot produce vitamin B12, therefore, it must be obtained through diet or supplements. Deficiency of vitamin B12 can occur due to several reasons, including inadequate dietary intake, malabsorption, medications, and various medical conditions. However, the most common cause of vitamin B12 deficiency is the inability of the body to absorb B12 from food due to the lack of intrinsic factor, a protein produced by the parietal cells of the stomach, which is necessary for vitamin B12 absorption. Symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency can vary from mild to severe, and can include fatigue, weakness, numbness, tingling, balance problems, and memory problems. In extreme cases, it can cause irreversible damage to the nervous system. The link between vitamin B12 deficiency and dementia has been extensively studied. Dementia is a progressive decline in cognitive function, including memory loss, language difficulties, and changes in mood and behavior. The mechanism by which vitamin B12 deficiency contributes to dementia is known, but not fully understood by many. However, it is due to the effect of vitamin B12 on the nervous system. Vitamin B12 is essential for producing myelin, the fatty substance that covers and protects nerve fibers. Therefore, a B12 deficiency can lead to demyelination, impairing the transmission of nerve impulses, causing cognitive dysfunction, tremors, involuntary movements, etc. Another mechanism by which vitamin B12 deficiency contributes to dementia is the effect of vitamin B12 on homocysteine levels in the blood. Homocysteine is an amino acid that at high levels can be toxic to the nervous system. Vitamin B12, folate, and B6 are essential for breaking down homocysteine into a non-toxic metabolite such as methionine. Therefore, a deficiency of any one or more of these vitamins can lead to elevated homocysteine levels, damaging the nervous system. Mild cognitive impairment, MCI, is a condition that falls between normal cognitive aging and dementia. Some studies have found that vitamin B12 deficiency is more common in people with MCI and dementia than in healthy individuals. For example, in a study conducted on elderly people with mild cognitive impairment, it was found that those with vitamin B12 deficiency had a higher risk of developing dementia than those without a B12 deficiency. In cognitive impairment, a B12 deficiency can contribute to hyperhomocysteinemia, elevated homocysteine, which increases the risk of dementia. This deficiency affects the brain through several mechanisms. 1. Overstimulation of N-methyl-D-aspartic acid NMDA, receptors, leading to excessive calcium influx and cell death. This is a process in which the NMDA receptors, which are a type of receptor found in the brain, become overly activated. This excessive activation causes an abnormal increase in the flow of calcium ions into the cells. Calcium ions play crucial roles in cell signaling and normal brain function. However, an excessive influx of calcium can disrupt the delicate balance and functioning of the cells, ultimately leading to cell death. 2. Reduced methylation, causing DNA damage and cell death. 3. Inhibition of new neuron formation in the hippocampus, learning and memory regions of the brain. 4. Impaired function of gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA, the brain's natural valium. GABA acts as an inhibitory amino acid neurotransmitter commonly found in the central nervous system, CNS, which serves as a balance between excitation and relaxation among neurons. GABA is found in high concentrations in the amygdala, a small structure in the brain that processes emotions and triggers our response to threats. GABA helps suppress fear and is important for regulating emotions. Insufficient inhibition of fear often leads to anxiety and exaggerated fear. Most anti-anxiety drugs act in the amygdala, by increasing the inhibition provided by GABA transmission. 
Since GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter, it also provides the inhibition to suppress epileptic seizures. Most anti-epileptic drugs also increase the inhibition provided by GABA. And 5. Disruption of the blood-brain barrier and toxicity to endothelial cells. B12 deficiency can lead to elevated levels of homocysteine, and high homocysteine levels have been linked to endothelial dysfunction, which can compromise the integrity of the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier refers to a specialized protective barrier, formed by endothelial cells in the brain's blood vessels that restricts the entry of certain substances into the brain, maintaining its integrity and function. Conversely, Endothelial dysfunction refers to the impairment of these endothelial cells, leading to compromised barrier function and potential disruption in the transport of nutrients, oxygen, and waste products between the blood and the brain. B12 deficiency can also damage the myelin sheath by affecting growth factors. B12 deficiency has been associated with alterations in brain-derived neurotrophic factor BDNF, levels. BDNF is a protein that plays a crucial role in promoting the survival, growth, and maintenance of nerve cells in the brain. It involves various processes, such as neuronal plasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize and restructure itself on a cellular level, neurogenesis, forming new neurons, and cognitive function. Studies have shown that B12 deficiency can reduce BDNF levels, which may affect brain health and function. The exact mechanisms underlying the relationship between B12 deficiency and BDNF have yet to be fully understood. However, it is believed that B12 plays a role in the synthesis and metabolism of BDNF. B12 is necessary for the production of S-adenosylmethionine, SAM, a methyl donor involved in various biochemical reactions, including the methylation of DNA and proteins. Methylation is essential for adequately regulating gene expression including the BDNF gene. Furthermore, B12 deficiency contributes to elevated levels of homocysteine, and high homocysteine levels have been linked to decreased BDNF expression and function. In addition, homocysteine can interfere with the signaling pathways involved in BDNF production and release, reducing BDNF availability. The impact of B12 deficiency on BDNF levels, highlights the potential role of B12 in supporting brain health and cognitive function. Adequate B12 levels are essential for maintaining optimal BDNF levels, and promoting the survival and functioning of nerve cells in the brain. So, in summary of part 1 of this series. Vitamin B12 is primarily found in animal-based foods. It cannot be produced by our bodies, and so it must be obtained through diet or supplements. B12 deficiency can result from various causes, with the inability to absorb B12 due to the lack of intrinsic factor being the most common. Symptoms range from fatigue to memory problems, and, in severe cases, can cause irreversible damage to the nervous system. The link between B12 deficiency and dementia lies in its impact on the nervous system. B12 is essential for myelin production which protects nerve fibers, and its deficiency can lead to demyelination and cognitive dysfunction. In addition, elevated homocysteine levels resulting from B12 deficiency, can also harm the nervous system. Studies have found that B12 deficiency is more prevalent in individuals with dementia and mild cognitive impairment, MCI, than in healthy individuals. This B12 deficiency affects the brain through mechanisms such as overstimulation of specific receptors, reduced methylation, inhibition of new neuron formation, impaired function of gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA, and disruption of the blood-brain barrier. B12 deficiency can also impact growth factors, including brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, which is vital for nerve cell survival and cognitive function. Further research is needed to fully understand the relationship between B12 deficiency and BDNF. However, B12's role in BDNF synthesis, and the impact of homocysteine on BDNF levels, suggests the importance of maintaining adequate B12 levels needed for brain health and function. Thanks for watching.